Hi, it's Laura Duck from Reading 18 Tarot and Books. Thanks for stopping by my channel today. Welcome to another installment of Top Tarot Trumps, the ongoing VR started by Masha of Musings by Masha, inviting us to share our favorite iterations of each of the major arcana with a new video every couple of weeks or so. This time I am sharing some favorite chariot cards. And I started out this series saying I was mostly going to try to stick to five. We've gotten to card number, card number seven, but the eighth card because we have the fool. And I'm just going to say I'm going to abandon, <laughs> pretending like I'm going to stick to five. This time I have six. I know for strength I have more than five. No one should be surprised that my initial attempts to restrict myself a little bit were not going to work. So I have six chariots to show you, some of which are more traditional chariots in some ways, and some of which are really not, as per usual. I will timestamp below in a kind of non-spoilery way, but some of my timestamps will probably be pretty obvious in this case. I initially thought that the chariot might be a card that it would be hard to come up with favorites. It's not a card that I, you know, can really necessarily readily think, oh, this this chariot card is one of my favorite cards ever, or this deck has such an amazing chariot. It's one that, for whatever reason, it's, it's one that doesn't always stand out to me as a favorite card in a deck. So I thought I would have a hard time, but when I started going through the decks on my shelf and making quite a mess in the process, I managed to find quite a few chariots that I very much like. So I've narrowed it down to six, which I'm excited to share with you. The first few are Marseille style chariot cards. So the first one that I've chosen, and these are not really in a particular order, uh, but the first one I will show is the chariot from Marseille Prendre Vie by Auntie Kay's Tarot. This is, of course, a contemporary Marseille deck. And there's just a lot of design elements in this particular chariot that I like. I am really into photographic backgrounds and illustrated foregrounds in this deck. It's one that will show up in my top trumps, you know, a fair amount. I really like this paisley vest that the charioteer is wearing. I do, I do like a paisley. I like their glasses a lot. Glasses are a thing that you don't always see in tarot very often. Once I, I started noticing that, I started looking for them and appreciating seeing fellow glasses wearers in tarot, so I like that. And in this one, the horses are mechanical, which I think is interesting. Um, the charioteer, of course, does not have reins to steer the horses, which is, you know, standard in a Marseille deck. So thinking about, you know, how the horses are propelled forward or how they, you know, go the direction that they're going to go, which may or may not be in the same direction as each other. Uh, you know, if we see them pulling away from each other or pulling the charioteer in different directions, for instance. The, the mechanical horses, I think, give an interesting kind of angle on that. You know, that there is some aspect, perhaps, of the chariots that are, um, like, self-driven in this card, which I think is just interesting to think about. I think it gives a, a different perspective. I like that they're on kind of roller skate wheels at the bottom there. I think that that's a cool uh, style. Yeah, I just like this card a lot and I think it's pretty it's pretty neat so that's the first chariot the second chariot is from a deck that is so new to my collection that I haven't even shuffled it yet this deck arrived two days ago I think from when I'm filming this video so I've opened it I've looked through it I've skimmed the book but I haven't worked with this deck I haven't shuffled this deck and I will just say that if I had had this weeks ago when this top Tarot Trumps thing started, this deck would have appeared 
in my top tarot trumps video for at least three, if not more, of the installment so far. I'm really loving this deck and looking forward to working with it a whole bunch. And that is the chariot from The Gay Marseille by Charlie Claire Burgess, who is, of course, the creator of the Fifth Spirit Tarot and the author of Radical Tarot. I love their first deck. I'm looking forward to their next deck. I backed this on Kickstarter and was very happy to have it arrive. You know, you can see just from these first two why I'm looking forward to having a, a bit of a Marseille year this year. I feel like well um, stocked with a couple of Marseille decks that I really, really like, which is kind of new for me. And in this one, you know, it's it's a pretty kink forward kind of interpretation of the chariot, you know, with the ponies at the bottom with chest harnesses on. I just think that it's great. I think that this deck, you know, has a real kind of sense of humor to it. Um, and it's, you know, so deeply and unapologetically queer while I think not taking itself too seriously at all while sticking to, you know, fairly um, traditional in a lot of ways, Marseille um, card structure and kind of the layout of the figures and things like that, but really putting a contemporary spin on it. I really, really like this a lot. I like, you know, I like tattoos and body hair and things like this that, you know, make figures look like real humans <laughs> in a deck. And this deck is full of that. I like, you know, in both of these, in both of these, actually, I like how the creators have put their, um, their kind of initials on there. We have the Demur's Fortunes. It might be a little faint for you to see, but we have the DF for Demur's Fortunes there. Um, on Auntie Kay's card, and then we have Charlie Claire Burtis's initials there on the front of the chariot um, in this case. So, you know, in a, a queer deck like this, you know, going harness on the chariot, I think is, is great, is great thinking. So I really like that. The... Next chariot that I will share is also a deck that I've already included in a few installments of Top Tarot Trumps, and that's the Architect's Tarot by Yusuf Boucheri. And this chariot has a flying ship on it. And I just think this is cool. <laughs> I think that this is a really cool kind of a vehicle to show as a chariot. And there's a little figure there at the front of the ship, looking up, you know, looking ahead. And I think that there's a lot of little details in this that are interesting, you know, to interpret the ropes dragging there as the ship takes off, or the ship having a visible rudder there underneath that brings the idea of steering and navigating and, you know, the sails catching wind and pushing the ship forward, but the, the ropes are, are dragging it and perhaps pulling it down a bit. You have a strong prominence of, of water um, and the chariot associated with cancer. You know, this makes sense. So I just really like this visually a lot. I like the sense of motion in this card. I like the sense of taking off um, and there's also, you know, something about the chariot being in the midst of changing the medium that it's moving in, like navigating a change from water to air, I think is, is something interesting um, in terms of how this could be interpreted. So I like what that card brings to the chariot. Of course, I love the Naturescapes chariot, another watery one which makes a lot of sense, of course, for the chariot. And this is a, you know, stream with a lot of stones. And I like that this, for me, brings up ideas about navigating around obstacles, um, going around versus going through and pushing through, uh, pushing through over long periods of time in ways that water 
will in terms of erosion, uh, twisting and turning and not taking a straight path. There, there's just a lot, I think, that an image like this can point to. And I think that that's, you know, why this deck is so successful because these pictures are, are chosen so well um, by Tina who created this deck. It feels like a very much um, in motion chariot. Like this is a very dynamic, you know, this water is clearly rushing through and I like, I like that. Um, and a lot of the, ch the chariots, the traditional chariots like feel quite static actually. Uh, and this one, this one really doesn't. So I like that about it. Next up, I have Le Terreau Souverain. And in this one, the chariot is movement. And the text there says riots, not diets. And this just makes me happy. Uh, I really like the idea of thinking about the movement of the chariot in terms of something like a social movement context, uh, creating change, um, you know, moving in a direction, in a deliberate, you know, deliberate strategically and tactically like kind of a way and so I think the text brings that and then I like the kind of aspect of it being being a person and thinking about the chariot as movement in terms of moving through the world and how we move through the world and what we carry with us when we move through the world I I just really really like this and I love this deck so I like that chariot as well and finally I chose one of my favorite vehicles, of course, the Enterprise. And this is in the Star Trek Tarot, which features the 78 episodes of the original series. And this deck has keywords on it. And you can see here in the corner, the keyword is action. And then there's a um, more subtle keyword in the gray text, which is deflection. This is, this is just a cool deck. I love this deck. And this episode of Star Trek is the Tholian web. And in this episode, Kirk is trapped and the starship is trapped and you can see the web forming behind them. And they're trying to get out of this Tholian web. And part of what that involves in the context of the, of the plot is that they have to kind of try to anticipate, you know, where to go next and where to put the transporter next. And so there's this kind of, it's, of course it's, you know, it's steering and it's a vehicle and, and all of these kinds of things that we can think of with the chariot. But I like the aspect of anticipation that the Tholian web brings to the chariot, having to, you know, think about what might be coming up and reorient based on kind of anticipated possibilities or challenges, I think is a cool uh, addition to the interpretation of the card that comes through in this particular example of a chariot. So those are my current top chariots from the Par Marseille Prangerville, excuse me, the Gay Marseille and the Architects Tarot and the Naturescapes Tarot and the Tarot Souverain and the Star Trek Tarot are the chariots that I have chosen. Let me know in the description box not in the description box because you can't put things in the description box on my video. Let me know in the comments if you have and love any of these particular chariots or what your top chariots would be. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.